Welcome to our lecture online, and now we're going to prove the law of cosine. And so we have one of the forms of the law of cosine up. We have a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a. So what we should do is we, we take this triangle here, and to make things a little bit easier to work with, we're going to put one of the vertices, one of the corners, one of the angles of the triangle right here at the origin. And then we're going to turn this into a right triangle by drawing a line from this corner right here straight down. And let's call this side uh, A, B, C, D. And then let's call this distance right here, let's call that E. So now we have a right triangle. And of course, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that the, the hypotenuse squared, A squared, must equal this side squared, D squared, plus this side squared, which is the sum of E plus C quantity squared. Okay, we already have the a squared here, but now how do we turn this into that? Well, first of all, the law of cosine there does not include d and e, so we have to replace d and e by something that relates to that. So first of all, d right here. Notice that we have the angle here, which is a, and then this angle right here would be 180 degrees minus a. Now this is the opposite side to d, and so by definition, we know that the sine of this angle right here, 180 degrees minus A, is equal by definition to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Now hypotenuse is B and the opposite side is D, so it would be D divided by B. All right. Which means that we can then solve for D, and so D is then equal to B times the sine of 180 degrees minus A. And that can then go into the place over there. So we have a squared is equal to d squared, which is the quantity b squared times the sine squared of 180 degrees minus a. There we go. Plus, all right, now e. How do we replace e? Now e is the adjacent side to that angle. So therefore, we can say that the cosine of 180 degrees minus a is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side, which is E, divided by the hypotenuse, which is B. And then, of course, we can solve that equation for E, and we see E is equal to B times the cosine of 180 degrees minus A. All right, and that can go in here. So that's now the quantity of E, which is B times the cosine of 180 degrees minus A, plus C, the whole quantity squared. All right. Now let's see here. What is the sine of 180 degrees minus A? Well, that turns out that's equal to the sine of A. So we can rewrite this as A squared is equal to B squared times the sine squared of A plus, and what is the cosine of 180 degrees minus A? Well, that happens to be minus the cosine of A. So this becomes B uh, times, and let me put the negative in front of the B, that makes it easier. So minus B times the cosine of A plus C quantity squared. All right, now that I've simplified the angle, I can go ahead and multiply out this binomial. So this is two terms squared, and so this becomes A squared is equal to B squared times the sine squared of A, plus when we square this, we get b squared times the cosine squared of a uh, plus twice the product of these two, but since we have a negative here, it would be minus uh, 2bc times the cosine of a, and then finally plus c squared at the end. All right, now notice we have a b squared times the sine squared of a plus b squared times the cosine squared of a, so we could factor out a b squared. So we have a squared equals b squared times the sine squared of a plus the cosine squared of a minus 2bc times the cosine of a plus c squared. And then, of course, sine squared of a plus cosine squared of a is equal to 1. So this becomes a squared is equal to b squared minus 2bc times the cosine of the angle a plus c squared. And, of course, then rearranging the terms, to make it look just like that, we can say a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a. 
And there you go. That's the exact same format of cosine law that we have over there. And that's how we prove it.